So welcome guys. Um, so how, how do you go from being online friends with your Filipina or a Filipina with your uh, man from a foreign country to um, actually living in that country, in, in their country, you know, in Australia, England, US, New Zealand, Canada, wherever, India, wherever it might be. How does that actually happen? So I'll give you a bit of um, my thoughts about what had happened in my own relationship with my wife. So my wife and I, we met online. Now it wasn't it wasn't through a um, dating site as such, you know. It wasn't through any of the Filipina Cupid type things or, or Christian Filipina. It was actually through a Facebook page, which was um, it was it was like a Filipina dating site, I guess, in a sense, on Facebook. But it was it was more, you know, I was going there to, to have a bit of a chat and find out a bit more about Filipina. Filipinas and the Philippines because I'd been there when I was a, a kid when I was um, 16 or almost 16 my parents took me on a trip around Southeast Asia and I always remembered the Philippines and I was always amazed by the country and the warmth and friendliness of the Filipino people so I wanted to find a little bit more out about them I thought well if I could make some friends there that'd be fine you know that'd be good and find out a bit of information and you know, after after chatting to a few different uh, people were talking to me, nothing was really taking me fancy. I was finding out a little bit of information here and there, but uh, and then then I came across Cheska, and she just seemed very real to me, very real and down to earth, and wasn't holding back on anything. You know, like she was she's not, not giving me a whole life story, mind you, but she she was. Um, the, you know, it just felt what she was saying was genuine straight away. So I started to, you know, to keep that um, online chat thing happening. And of course that grew as time went by. That grew to the point where, you know, I'd really like to go over and meet her. So in, uh, where are we, July of 2013, I hopped on an aeroplane and I went over there for eight days and it was just a short trip where I met Cheska face to face. <clears throat> I met her family <clears throat> and I met her, some of her co-workers and saw a little bit of a glimpse into her life I guess and, and, and what um, she was about a little bit more and we got on pretty well. And at the, um, the end of that, you know, I was pretty happy with uh, how everything was going and I thought this is, this is something could be good here. But I had to go back to work in Australia, so off we got on the aeroplane, and, and then only a few months later, I saved up again and went back to the Philippines in October of 2013, and I was there for about uh, 18 or 19 days, and where we got to really know each other a lot more, and and um, you know things were going really, really well, and we got engaged. From that point, I went back to Australia again. And yeah, yeah, and by the way, yes, it was. We got engaged pretty quick, I guess, around about five or six months from the time we started chatting. So, you know, but we're old, older. It's not like I'm, you know, 20 years old and she's 20 years old. You know, at the time, I, you know, we were older people, a bit more settled in life, and we knew what we were, what we wanted, and and um, there was no problems around that really, and there's still no problems around that. So it turned to be a good decision. I think there's some people. I know within my family they were probably uh, criticising and saying, oh, we have known, known each other that long. But it's funny, when you actually chat online, you actually spend a lot of time and the physical aspect is out of it. So you don't have that physical aspect. So you're actually finding out more and more about the person and who they really are rather than in a face-to-face -face relationship, a traditional relationship, you're going to... You know, at first, you, you're very attracted to each other physically, so the focus tends to, a lot of the time to be on that physical attraction rather than who the person really is. And that's what I found in this relationship, which was so much different to other relationships, that it, we really got to know each other in a, in a, in a really um, positive way. And 
that set a really good foundation for what was to come. And so after that, after that October trip, I came back to Australia again. And, you know, of course, we kept our online chatting up, you know, video chats, all that sort of stuff. And then I wanted her to come to Australia to experience what it's like here in Australia. So we organised a tourist visa to Australia. I think now they call them a visitor visa. Same thing, whatever. So I had an agent prepare that for me because I wasn't confident I could do it. I was hearing stories that if you did it wrong, you, you know, they'd be rejected and, and you know, it's not easy to get them into Australia and all this, you know, you have, they have to have a certain amount of money and I have to have a certain amount of money, which all that proved to be false once I got onto an agent who set it up and um, I had to provide, of course, records and be her sponsor for that time. So that meant I had to be able to provide for her housing, food, you know, shelter, make sure she's safe and you know, all that sort of stuff financially, you know, all that. So, which I did, and her, her visa, her tourist visa was granted, and she came to Australia in, um, what was it, April of 2014. So, at that point, um, she was here for the three months. Now, in that, she can't work in that time. She can't work. All it is is a holiday, you know, a, a, basically a holiday. So, and we got on really well here in Australia too uh, for that time. So we ended up extending that visa by another nine months. So we had to do another application if you like, but we got extended and we got the, got the um, immigration people, agent to do that. And it was extended by another nine months, which meant she had a full 12 months here in Australia. And we decided, well, during that time, we actually got married in, uh, July of 2014, I believe. So in July 2014, we got married um, on the Gold Coast. And it's a very small, intimate wedding. We then applied for our spouse visa or partner visa. Um, and at that time, when they received that, with, with the money and the, and the whole application with the money, then they gave her a bridging visa for that time so she was then able to stay in australia until the spouse visa or partner visa was decided so that allowed her to stay until that decision was made then finally that decision was made. it takes time it, it, it doesn't happen i think it was uh, i don't know seven eight nine months uh until they decided it and they said yes we will give you a spouse visa now that spouse that spouse visa it goes in two sections here in australia the 820 and the 801 visa so the 820 was the first one which um which, which which they say yes okay you can stay in australia you have work rights you have medicare rights here which is the health system and that sort of thing but then you have to wait another 12 months before you can get your permanent residency so we of course you know waited that 12 months then we applied for the permanent residency which now she has so i guess that's it's it sounds a pretty long and drawn out process and it is and and and, and to be to be fair it wasn't overly uh cheap here in australia do that i think we're one of the most expensive countries for that i'd like to hear from people in the us and other countries what the costs of your spouse or partner visas are there because here ran into about uh, five and a half thousand Australian dollars. Now, I believe it's now up to about seven and a half thousand here in Australia. So it just keeps going up, 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 up. Um, so I'd be interested to hear what you guys are paying for yours. But that, that's how, that's how you get, it's basically the story and how uh, me and my wife um, started as online friends, got to know each other. I went to visit. We got engaged, she came to Australia, got married and hasn't left here since. So, you know, and, and now we're, we're going, what, um, three and a half years of marriage. So, yeah, July this year will be four years of marriage and everything's superb. It's, it's you know, have, it's never been better. So, best thing I've ever done for sure and I hope she feels the same way. And I think she does. She seems pretty happy. And, um, you know, she's, she's working here in Australia um and and enjoying life as, as we go along so so i hope you've enjoyed 
the little chat on that and, and giving you some insight into what it takes to actually go from online friends to actually you know moving to, to another country and don't forget to share the video hit the like button subscribe and of course hit the notification bell for more videos and i hope everyone's doing well take care guys thanks very much for being subscribers i really do appreciate that um i should tell you guys more often but i really do appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos and to comment so thanks very much bye for now